Okay, I'm out shooting 25 yards with a bunch of 22 pellet rifles today. And I'm using the Hot Sawn Vortex 13.12 grain pellets in each one. And again, this is 25 yards. So this is the Umarex fuel. This is the bingo dauber, and then I put a little felt pin around it. So uh, that's five shots. Okay, right here is the Crossman Redtail. Again, five shots. Right there is the Crossman Valiant. Five shots. There's the Crossman Prowler. Five shot group and five shot group. The Crossman, excuse me, not Crossman, the Gommel Maxim Swarm. Five shots. Here's a couple other groups with the Maxim Swarm. Um, the wind picked up a little bit. Normally, uh, these other guns are not being affected by the wind, but the Maxim Swarm was. My Hot Sun Edge Vortex. There's a five shot group there. This is a one from something else. And then there's a five shot group here. Okay, so here's what the pellets look like, the can that it comes in. And um, like I said, it's 13.12 grains. And I'll lay some out here for you. They're pretty good, you know. I'm pretty sure they're made by H&N. Somebody said they were. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are too. They are from Germany. They're not from uh, Czechoslovakia like some of the hot sun pellets are. Or other countries. See right here, made in Germany. So, really good pellets. A little light, but man, they sure go pretty good. Well, that's it for now. I like these. Uh, each one of these rifles has its, you know, pellets that it shoots better with, but um, I wanted to see how this would do in each one of these rifles. The Umarex fuel didn't have to be, uh, it, it didn't have to be sighted in for them. It was sighted in for the Gamma Red Fires, and it shot these just about in the same spot. So that's pretty cool. But all in all, the rifles did pretty good. Oh, I also used it in um, the uh, Crossman Diamondback, and I got about a two and a half inch group with no scope at 25 yards. That was okay. Not my best group, though, but that was okay.